Here we are, ready for another session of calling. Uh, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. Let's uh, get started here. We are, this is our second session today. Uh, and uh, we are going to continue to call. Uh, just uh, making sure we already have one earlier today, a uh, potential one. So um, let's, uh, let's continue. So as, as long as we are getting, you know, being consistent and getting one or two, possibly three a day, then we are in good shape. That's, that's really, really cool. You know, so uh, let's go, uh, go ahead and um, continue to call here. Uh, let's do the dial. All right. Uh, first thing is always we are going to text. So the notes here say, uh, no information on the properties. Uh, she's not in a rush to sell, planning to move out of state. Okay, that's good. She's got two properties and uh, first one here is 318 on Zillow, 373 on Redfin and 314, sorry, 311 on realtor.com. So I would say three fifteen ish maybe. Uh, realtor.com for the second one says, 277 and then uh, Redfin says uh, 314 and then the second one on Zillow is 378. So uh, we need to keep it at two, 300,000 maybe. So, uh, okay, let's go ahead and give her a call. Nidra, Nidra. Deals for dollars, deals for dollars. Sellers or investors or buyers. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. So we know this is a um, landline. Let's do landline for sure. Texted, called, no answer. We'll try later. Okay. That's the notes. So from there, you know, I moved them from from my area where I have not touched it to I have touched it and called so that I do not get confused here. Okay, fantastic. Let's, uh, okay, let's see here. Okay. 
next uh, property here. So uh, let's read the notes here. Property is in good condition, no updates, and no repairs needed. Okay, where's the pain? Try, trying to find the pain here. Soon do they want to sell, follow up. Give them a good price, okay. We'll sell it. Wants to know our offer. The offer is ready. Realtor.com is 407. 462 on Redfin and 455 on Zillow. So uh, let's uh -oh. let's try and see if uh, that's the name of the game. You are just calling and uh, figuring out who is. Wanting to sell, that's the name of the game. It is a little bit of a numbers game, I would say, but uh, it's more of a quality, quality call conversations. <coughs> Smile. Remember to smile. Hello, we are not available now. Please call again. Thank you for your call. Yeah, that's the right number. Landline. No answer. Text it. Call. <clears throat> so I tried this one here. Okay, next, got to move through these really fast. Okay, notes. Good condition, kitchen has been updated, house is currently rented. No asking price, no particular reason. However, he would consider selling it if we can <clears throat> give her a good offer. I mean, I can't stand that stuff. <laughs> She's looking to see if she received an offer. Um, 381 on realtor.com, 424 on Redfin and 460 on um, Zillow. Okay, let's reach out here. All right. Yes, good morning, David. How are you? This is Ben. Who is it? Uh, ben. Ben uh, was calling you back about uh, your uh, property on Sonora Way. What about it? Uh, well, uh, I thought uh, uh, that you wanted to sell it. Uh, is that still the case? I did a little bit of uh, due diligence and was calling oh, you, you back. Yeah. 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 So how you been? You you doing okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah, so uh, 
you know, I'm, uh, I'm interested. I'm interested in purchasing it. I know that you have a tenant in there. And uh, so wanted to see what your thoughts are as more or less like a time frame. And also, did you want to keep uh, the tenant in it? Or did you want me to keep the tenant in it? Or how does that look? What do you mean? Uh, you have a tenant in the property, correct? Yeah. Okay. So if I buy the house, uh, are you wanting me to keep the tenant in place? I don't care what you do with him. Okay. Okay. You that's the house, that's yours. <laughs> well, I can appreciate that. I, I certainly appreciate it. So, um, okay. What, uh, what kind of time frame? are we talking about here? I wasn't talking about any time frame. Okay. Well, if, if we decided to buy it, do you have a preference in time frame? No. No? Just any time? Any time is good for you? I said I had no preference. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm interested in doing it. Uh, do you... I'd like to, to see, because obviously what we would do is we, we go through closing and stuff, and obviously we have to give the tenant time to, to, uh, to move out. So it might be a situation where we're going to keep the tenant. Do you think uh, that the rent, the way you have it now, can be increased? And uh, if so, by how much? thought about all that okay may i ask what uh what the tenant is paying at the moment 18 15 okay okay that's not bad is that is, is that okay with you D do you wish that it, it was higher oh well, my goodness you're talking about buying a house why are you asking me these questions about a tenant Oh, because uh, like I said, if we if we keep uh, the tenant uh, or we give time for the tenant to move out, I just want to be sure that whatever they're paying per month works out for us. Because we might consider keeping the tenant. That's the reason why. Well, that would be your business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, no problem. No problem. I appreciate you being open with me. I really do. Um, let's see your, your property. Uh, what would be a, a price that you'd like to sell it for? I hadn't thought about it. Okay. You are going to call me, you call me and you're going to make an offer. What are you offering me? Okay. So I looked at several different things. I looked at the, uh, the MLS. I looked at Zillow. I looked at uh, Redfin. Uh, and then I looked at Realtor.com. Uh, Realtor.com has an estimated price for your house of three eighty one. Uh, is that does that how does that sound to you? A little low. A little low. Okay. Uh, so are you more? So you're closer to uh, four hundred then? Or more? Or more? <laughs> okay. Well where else are you going to get a quarter acre in that, you know, I mean, that's a nice house. You know, it's a nice area. It's great. The fantastic school. You're not going to get any better. Okay. Okay. No problem. Like from all the grades. It's like perfect location. Mm -hmm. how, how far is it from the school, you said? Walk to anywhere. Take a bus anywhere. It's like perfect. Mm -hmm. How far did you say was from the school? Couple blocks. Couple blocks. Oh, that's great. oh, that's great. That's great. All the way to high school. Okay. Um, well, I'm interested. I'm certainly not trying to uh, to lowball you. That is for sure. Uh, so, four hundred at least. You said so. So, so I could plan for a little bit more than four hundred thousand. That is no issue. That that really is no problem. Um, so let me. What I could do, let me go ahead and, and, and see how, uh, if I can get a broker's price opinion. So I can get you closer to a fair market value. Okay, because it sounds like that's what you want. And there's no repairs needed on the house, right? I assume. 
No. Okay. Okay. And so we're talking pretty much fair market value. So that, that's pretty much what we're talking about here, right? It's a built-in pool. It's on a quarter acre. It's all spent. Granite counters, all new upgraded kitchen, all everything's upgraded. All hardwood floors. Oh, beautiful. You know, it's, it's a nice house. Beautiful. I mean, it's three bedroom. You know, it's just three bedroom, you know, 1,200 square feet, but it's a nice little house. Mm-hmm. Well, three two, they're, they're always the best houses. Three twos, uh, twelve hundred square feet is not bad. That that's that's a really nice size house. I agree with you. Beautiful house. Um, you know, by the by by the way you describe it. So, if if you were to sell it, I mean, I'm just curious. If you were to sell it, um, you know, in my opinion, it's better to keep it. So, what makes you want to sell it? <laughs> I just wanted to sell it. You called me. Mm-hmm. You asked me if I was up to it. Well, what are you going to give me? me? <laughs> Hello, I hadn't thought about selling my house. <laughs> I get it. I get it. What so, why are you calling me? To you, buy it? I mean, where did you get my name? What's the story here with you? No, no problem. We call around. So I like the neighborhood because, like you said, the schools and everything else. I mean, it's it's really nice. The area is nice. Who are you? Who are you? Uh, well, my name is Ben. Uh, I was, uh, I can give you my life story. I'm, I'm a military background. I uh, got out of the military not too long ago. And uh, I'd like to, uh, you know, pretty much uh, build a portfolio uh, of rental houses. That's uh, pretty much my story. Uh, and it doesn't take too many, uh, in my opinion, it doesn't take too many if you can live modestly. And so I'm Oh work? yeah, yeah, just just an individual. Yeah, I don't I don't work for like the big national company like Open Door or anything like that. No, just an individual, just me. Where'd you get my name? Uh, public record, public record. I pulled a uh, a, a list of uh, of the street here. Uh, went to public record, uh, property appraiser's website, and I got uh, some addresses. And so what I did is I just put. Uh, Put the addresses on Google, and um, it gives you it gives you options. And your your number was one of the ones I found on Google. So yeah, yeah, uh, it's you know, been uh, for six years. So six years. Right to the same tenant. Oh wow! It sounds like an amazing tenant. <laughs> Do you think if I bought it, I could I could bring the rent up to two thousand? Probably. Probably, yeah. Because uh, the uh, I'll be honest with you, the the rent on Zillow, it's estimated at twenty one ninety nine, so pretty much uh, twenty two hundred dollars. Twenty one ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You think that's that's good? That's fair. I don't know. To be honest, you know that would be great. Yeah. 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 Do you have a? Do you have to pay a mortgage, or is this free and clear for you? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, good. Well, I'm very, very interested, David. And you know, you are a very listen. You're a very patient individual, because you know, you uh, most people would just hang up the phone. And I appreciate your time. I really appreciate your time. And uh, I am interested, and I want to move forward. So, would it be okay if I do a little bit more research? Uh, like I said, get a, uh, a broker's opinion as to the fair market value of it, and then maybe call you back, let's say sometime next week. Yeah. Okay. Well, I appreciate it, David. Thank you so much. Do you have any other questions for me? Like anything else you want to know about me? Anything that's, that's, uh, kind of in the back of your head? Yeah. Hold on a second. Okay. Uh, M-A-R-K-S, Marks. What's your phone number? Uh, the phone number I'm calling you from, which is uh, 916-914-8330. Oh, 
are you just buying in Sacramento County? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I might go outside a little bit, but not too much. Do you have any other properties? <laughs> I've got another house, Ben. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, um, it's in Grass Valley. Okay, I'm familiar. Tell me about it. Four bedroom, two bath, three acres. Oh, good. Out building. Mm -hmm. 40 by 50 garage, out uh, separate building. Oh, separate building, okay. So it's in, the, it's in the back? 100 square feet, all granite, high ceiling, hardwood floors, carpet. Okay. All fenced. All fenced. Okay, okay. Fantastic. I'm making notes here. All fenced. Okay. It's vacant. Vacant. It's vacant, okay. I'm just painting it in and out. Mm hmm And how much would you like for that one? What? How much would you like for that one? Just like how much? Mm -hmm. I want to sell it for. Yes, sir. I hadn't thought about that either, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna say eight, probably eight hundred. Guessing, I don't know. I was just fixing it up to rent it again. Oh, okay, okay, to rent it again. Okay. <laughs> So what's what's like uh, maybe like an idea? It doesn't have to be final, of course, because we're gonna do research, and, and you're gonna do research, and we are, and so we're we're trying to make sure that it's a win situation for you as well, not just for for us. It's gotta be win win. So would you be interested in that one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I would be. Can you? Are you able to give me the address so I can uh, I can uh, do a little DD on it? One four four seven eight. One four four seven eight. Uh huh. Little hill, like a big mount. Little hill lane. Little hill lane. We're at nine five nine four five. Nine five. Nine four five. Four five. Okay. Nine. Okay. Okay. And what were you thinking about renting it for? Because you know the area. That's the reason. I'm just trying to learn from you, okay? I'm not trying to, to pry. Uh, what, what were you thinking about renting it for? Well, Dave, mm -hmm. I, we've got that up for 28, I think. I just got a, someone that wanted an application. So 20, 28. Oh. 28. Mm -hmm. 28, okay. Plus, I'm, yeah, plus. Plus, plus. They're going to pay all utilities, uh, uh -huh. everything. Okay. The NID is like 150 a month and whatever utilities they use. It's got a wood burning stove, granite counter, high ceiling, dice house. Yeah, it sounds really beautiful. Really beautiful. Okay. Oh, well, uh, Hickory counters, hickory floors. Mm -hmm. Three quarter inch floors every, uh, and cabinets. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm taking notes here. Yes, four inch, four exit doors, four entry doors, four exit doors. Yeah. And will you, will you, uh, once you sell them, will you just go ahead and buy different properties? The reason I'm asking is because, uh, you know, I do come across as I'm making calls. I'm coming across uh, other investors and other sellers and stuff. You know, I may I may be able to also find something to put your money into. Well, you know, Ben, um, we were thinking we'd like to sell them, but then what do we do? You got to reinvest, or you owe you know half of it in taxes. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and, and that's definitely, that's why I brought that up, because it's definitely a concern, a concern. You don't want to pay taxes. You don't want to lose any money to taxes. That's for sure. So we could, we could try to talk about like, you know, like, a, like an exchange, uh, uh, et cetera. So uh, yeah, I am, uh, I am here to be a resource, you know, uh, to you as well, not just uh, come in and buy it. And then all of a sudden you have to pay capital gains or anything like that. 
Uh, How long so, have you been doing this, Ben? Well, I've, I've been in the military for the last, uh, you know, 11 years. I was active duty when I started, uh, but then I was reserves. And so I've been, for that whole time, I've been uh, uh, looking into real estate. Uh, so full time, not too long ago, but uh, part time has been about 10 years that I've been looking into real estate. I am 41 years old. I'm an old man now. You. That's great, Dan. Good for you. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I. Um, How many houses do you own? Uh, I don't own right now any houses. I I just own two little lots, two little lots that I bought uh, as a tax deed uh, a little while ago, and I I just pretty much uh, own that, and I'm renting one of them as a matter of fact to a, to a guy making a little bit, just a little bit of income. You know, I am not as experienced as you are, but uh, I'm trying to get there, you know? So you don't, you're not an owner at this point? Uh, not of houses, but just of land. Okay. Mm-hmm. Have you been doing this 10 years? Uh, looking into it, looking into it for 10 years. That land I bought uh, four years ago and another piece I bought three years ago. Yeah, the military has taken most of my time. That's for sure. How come you don't own a house? Uh, well, because I was deployed. <laughs> and uh, then I was living overseas. And uh, so one of the reasons I'm, I'm, I'm looking is because I'm looking for a house for myself as well. I have, I have young kids. And so uh, one of the houses is going to be for us. And then kind of go and upgrade and, that, and so forth. You know? So I'm actively looking for myself as well. You married? Yes, married. Uh, 16 years married. I am. 16 years? Yeah, 16 years married. That's right. Wow. Mm hmm. It's been a long time. Yeah. Especially when you consider that most, most marriages don't go that long nowadays. <laughs> That's great. Mm hmm. Yeah. Why did 80? 80, you said? Married, yeah, since eighty. Since eight, wow, that's a while. That congratulations. I mean, that's How a long time. It's your birthday. My birthday is September thirtieth. In what year? Eighty. Eighty. Yep. Eighty. That's what I said. That's your birthday. Yep, that's my birthday. Yeah, that's right. Yep. <laughs> oh, that birthday. You just had a birthday. I just had a birthday. That's right. Good for you, Ben. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> it's been uh. You know, life has gone way too fast. Ah, you know, it's, uh, man. Uh, <laughs> you, you, how would you buy these houses? What is your... My criteria? How would you purchase? Uh, oh, uh, well, I have um, pretty much uh, financing uh, in place. Uh, what I've what I've done is I've aligned a couple of uh, friends, financial friends, that uh, will allow me to come in and pretty much purchase them until I can repair them, rent them out, and then uh, go ahead and and uh, get a more uh, long term loan. I know the interest rates are going to probably eat up my cash flow uh, at the beginning. Uh, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with uh, taking low cash flow. Uh, at, but as they appreciate and as interest rates hopefully will come down here in the next five years probably or so, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I can refinance at that time. And then you eat it all up with your charges. Uh, <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully I can make much better decisions. I've been pretty good at, uh, at uh, not uh, spending what I make. Uh, the military teachers teaches you how to be very thrifty frugal. yeah very frugal that's right wow mm -hmm. um you have friends that would give you the money is that what you're saying that's right that's right i have friends that that, that will uh will finance it short term uh so that i can go and figure out uh my uh uh, my permanent financing, 
but uh, they will hold me for at least, you know, uh, long enough for me to be able to do that. Well, you'll be at least two grand a month for Sonora. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sounds uh, really, like a really nice deal. Yeah, for sure. Because like I was telling you, uh, Zillow shows at 2200 so that's going to be nice. No, but what I'm saying is that your payment, your payment would, would be your total rent. Uh, well, uh, I'm hoping it's a little bit less than that. I'm hoping it's my, my payment is going to be less than that for sure. So that's why I was saying to you that I need to go run the numbers and that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, to... And you know, I want to get the most I can get out of these houses. I mm -hmm. mean, I'm, you know, yeah. and repairing them and doing everything and killing myself with them. So I don't want to give it away to somebody. I want to get the very maximum amount of dollar that I can get for them. That's right. That's right. No, I, I, I painting this one inside and out just to make it pop. Mm hmm. Yeah. And you're doing it yourself. Well, I manage it. I'm not doing the roller. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Hire and mm -hmm. I don't do the actual physical labor. A lot of the physical labor that we do, we do with not the painting. Okay. So gotcha. So let, let me go over the address real quick, uh, if, if you don't mind again. Um, you said 14478 uh, Little Hill Lane, right? In the zip code 95945? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Because I'm going to do a little bit of research here. Are you open at all uh, to um, uh, carrying any, any financing on them for no. less than a year or so? Okay, no problem. Just uh, just thought I would ask. Okay, like I said, yeah, I have some financial friends that that uh, are willing to back me, uh, so it's no problem. No problem. Sell it, I just walk it away. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I I would do the same thing. Oh. Got you, got you. do know that and you, yes you can you can do that uh, you could do a 1031 exchange for sure yeah what does that mean uh 1031 exchange pretty much what it what it allows you to do is just roll over um all of your money into a property so it's kind of like the game of monopoly uh you 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 it's based on that principle uh where you have you know four greenhouses and then you you sell the greenhouses and then you buy one red hotel, uh, something like that. So, but, but you can do it with any kind of property. You can roll, roll those taxes over uh, or the, those funds over into whatever property that you want. It can be a commercial property, it can be residential, it can be mixed property, uh, whatever you want. Yeah, you can do it. I can take a residential house and two rentals, mm -hmm. sell all three and take all that money and buy one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. And that I had a conversation. 
<laughs> yeah, for sure. That's absolutely. Say again. Yeah, that's for, yeah, we could do that. We could do that. So we have uh, right now we're talking about Woodcrest, right? And then, uh, no. no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, not Woodcrest, uh, 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 Little Hill. Uh, and then uh, we are talking also about uh, Sonora Way. Uh, what's the third one? Wildwood. Drive. Okay. Wildwood Heights Drive. Drive. Mm -hmm. Nine five nine four six. Nine five nine four six. Okay, got it. Yeah, I was just writing it down here. Um, okay. We could do that, and uh, this one. Uh, how much would you would you? Well, let's talk about all three. Like, how much do, do you think that you would want to sell all three for? <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard enough. <laughs> That's that's Wildwood, okay. Eight fifty two nine. I'm guessing now. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We put a lot into this property too. Okay. We took granite counters this year, upgraded the kitchen. I made a basement and apartment here, and I built a a forty by fifty shop. Oh wow! Beautiful. Oh wow, five acres. Okay. Lake view. Five acres, okay. All right. It's a two story. Two story, okay. Bottom is the apartment downstairs, the basement apartment. All ran a two. It's a basement apartment. Basement apartment. Wow. And this was now one. This has seven exits. Seven exits. Okay. So uh, this one for uh, eight fifty to nine hundred. Uh, you never, you never told me about Little Hill. <laughs> what are your thoughts on that one? <laughs> what are your thoughts on on uh, on uh, 